Okay, so if you didn't watch the previous video yet, I strongly encourage you to take a second to go back and watch that. So um, this one says a competing drug manufacturer makes a drug for joint relief pain. In their study, they had 871 people take the drug and 697 experienced joint relief. They are also claiming that over 70% of those who took the drug experienced joint relief pain. In this study, we will use the significance level of 5%. So let's work on our null and alternative hypothesis. Well, it's the same as the last problem, right? We are claiming that the proportion of people who experienced relief was over 70%. Remember that your null hypothesis always has an equal sign. So if it's equal to 70%, we have to use the claim which says that the proportion of people who experienced relief was over 70%. And I'm going to mark this one as the claim value. Because our claim is H1, we know at the end of the time, when you take a look, remember it was these down here for our claim being H1. And so we're going to either say the sample data supports or the sample, there's not enough evidence to support. So we will either support or fail to support. Assume that H0 is correct. So we are going to assume that the claim, is, that the null value, that it's 70% of people experience relief. And then find the probability of our results from our experiment. We need to find our p hat value. Remember, we can do that by doing x divided by n, where x is the number of people who experienced relief. In this problem, it's 697 divided by our n value, how many total people took the drug, there were 871. 697 divided by 871 is 80%. So we'll use a p hat value of 80%. Now, as opposed to the last problem, having 80% is a little bit more reasonable for us to support the claim that over 70% of people experience really. Our sample size is 871, and our significance level is 0 0.05. So again, what we're going to do here is we are going to assume that the proportion is 0 0.70 and say, what is the probability that you get these results if you assume that the proportion is 0 0.70? So we are going to go to our hypothesis testing with means Excel spreadsheet, 70 or more than 70. We had 80% of people experience relief. We had a sample size of 871, and again, a significance level of 0.05. Our z-test statistic is 6.44, and our p-value is 0. What this means is that the probability of getting these results, if the proportion was 70%, it's 0% chance. What does that mean? When p is less than alpha, this is the case where we reject h0. So since p is less than alpha, <clears throat> we reject h0, or the null hypothesis. Again, you think about it, we throw that one out. And then what that allows us to do is if we can reject the null, we come over here and we see that the sample data supports the original claim. Since the original claim is H1, in our final conclusion, we say the sample data supports the claim that over 70% of those who took the drug experienced relief. 